And welcome back to Who Wins. Since I am laid up at home, it gives me more time to do ch uh, get stuff out on time on my general schedule for the channel. So, you know, silver lining and some, you know, things. For those of you who don't know, I'm dealing with a bit of a work-related injury at the moment. That's why I actually have a cane on me. Uh, so I'm out of work for a little bit. No, no, I'm not fired or anything. I'm just, I have to, I have to rest at the moment. Uh, but while I'm here, I can still do videos, I can still talk, my mouth still works, my voice still projects. So, let's get on with this. Now you've read the title, it's Goku vs. Doctor Strange from YouTube King. Oh, for all your YouTube King news. Um, and he asked a question, who would win, Doctor Strange or Goku? Now, I'll be, I'll be flat out honest here, there is a de pretty definitive winner in this. Though one can win over the other in certain circumstances, and we'll get to that. Um... But there is a pretty obvious winner when you really look at it. But the, uh, the, what's the best way to put it? The steps to get to the win are not as clear cut as you might think. <clears throat> so Goku, Doctor Strange, I've had both these guys on the channel several times. Goku is almost Superman at this point. He's been on here way too much. <laughs> and probably will be on here again in the future too. Same with Superman. Uh, but Goku is Saiyan, obviously. He is a martial artist. I think age-wise he's in his 40s, but Saiyans don't really... Saiyans can maintain their battle, like their peak battle physicality up until like their 80s, and then they'll rapidly start to age. Um, but Goku is uh, obviously the main character of Dragon Ball Z. He is skilled martial artist learning uh, the Kaioken from, Astro or from uh, King Kai. He knows the turtle style. He's a very adaptive on-the-fly fighter, very... A quick, like all Z fighters, he can move at relativistic light speeds, but is probably among the fastest of them, uh, given the fact that he is the main character, um, being able to move, you know, like that. Uh, instant transmission allows him to literally move instantaneously. Physically speaking, he's strong. He can, uh, he's stronger than he was when we saw him lift the forty tons in uh, Dragon Ball Z, and, the, and that was before his training was done. Uh, which is why that when they did that in Death Battle, first off, that the whole well, though, both those videos are awesome in Death Battle. I've always had a hold held con con contention about the Goku versus Superman fight. I'm like, ah, uh, see, the first time they did it, it made sense, even though I don't think they got Goku's stats right. The second time when they did it with the God Key, I'm like, okay, look, you did that without even understanding how God Key actually worked in Dragon Ball Z or in the Dragon Ball Universe, so. And, like, some of the feats that were actually shown. So, sorry, you, you're really just saying, Superman is Superman, so he just won. But that, that's my own pet peeves on that. I'm not going to do, like, a debunk video or anything. I'll let, that, I'll let the people who do debunk videos do that. I do not do debunk videos. That's that's stupid in my mind to do that. Even though I might have issues with how a battle goes down, I'm not going to do a debunk video. I digress, though. So, Goku has massive amount of techniques at his disposal. Physically, he's well beyond any normal human. Uh, he easily lifts several tens of tons, no problem. And he's probably gotten a lot stronger since then. Um, so, I mean, it, again, martial arts, the master, he's a master martial artist. He's not an expert. He's a master martial artist, because that's all he does. He farms, and he spends time with his family, and he trains. That's about it. Um, and his friends sometimes. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, obviously, Energy Blast, Key Blast, the Kamehameha, Kai King, which ups his abilities through, multiplica through multipliers. Um, excuse me? Mm. Uh, through multipliers, as I said. Obviously, you have a Super Saiyan transformations, which are multipliers in and of themselves and heighten his abilities. Super Saiyan's times 50. Super Saiyan 2 times 100. Super Saiyan 3 times 400. Although, that does drain his stamina. There is no Super Saiyan 4 in this case, because we have... Go to Super Saiyan God, which is God Key, uh, Divine Key in this case. He can go into that form at will. And we know that it is strong enough, even though comparatively to Beerus, it's it's nothing. It really, It's really not much. Beerus didn't have to use a lot of power. Even though he said 70%, even in, um, I think, the, the uh, in the movie he said 70%. And in, um, in uh, uh, the actual anime... I don't think it was quite that they had. They might have late, uh, alluded to it, but look, God, then Super Saiyan Blue, which is stronger than God, and then adding Kyle Ken on there, the, the numbers don't add up. Um, the numbers just don't add up. So Beerus probably was lying. Uh, but still, using even a couple percentages of his power, they were able to basically start tearing up the universe, not the galaxy, 
Not the solar system. Not the planets. The universe itself was being torn apart just from the blows they were throwing at each other. And half of those blows came from Goku. And that was before he even got a controlled mastery of God Key. Not Super Saiyan Blue, just the God form. Um, so, yeah, um, he's powerful enough to affect, affect, not destroy, but affect the universe as a whole. He just doesn't have any techniques that could actually destroy the universe. Uh, then Super Saiyan Blue is the next step up over that. Is it has better? It's overall stronger and has better key control, but has less um, stamina to it. Uh, so he can actually balance his key out even lower than say God Key, but he has pretty much perfect key control in that form. And then you go and and we're not using manga uh, uh, Super Saiyan Blue because look, the manga Dragon Ball Super and a lot of people said this that had a lot of issues to it, as particularly in the Tournament of Power, uh, that had a lot of problems to it. So, uh, Goku then, you know, in Super Saiyan Blue can attack on Kaioken times 20, amplifies his abilities times 20, even that couldn't go up against Jiren, but it goes into Ultra Instinct Omen, which is a precursor to the true Ultra Instinct, basically allowing him to react however he wants in battle, uh, and then once he goes to the Master Ultra Instinct, he can basically just fight <clears throat> without thinking at all. So, yeah, and his power... At that point, it was believed his power was beyond probably most, if not all, the gods at that point. So, yeah. Um, Power-wise, Goku is a fierce fighter. Extremely. In one, of the, one of the best martial arts. And, I mean, in terms of raw power characters. Raw powered characters in just all of anime, theoretically speaking. Not going based off of, like, a technique that just destroys things or manipulates reality or things along those lines. Dr. Stephen Strange was a neurosurgeon. Lost his hands. Went to... Uh, uh, Kamertage, and basically became a sorcerer, and ended up becoming a Sorcerer Supreme. Being a Sorcerer Supreme, he has access to God knows how much magic in the multiverse. Uh, he is one of the most skilled magic users in Marvel, if not the most skilled. Arguably, he's in the top five, easy. <clears throat> uh, he can do any sort of energy blast he really wants, uh, recite spells like this, uh, the Bands of Sidorak, basically manipulate reality, reverse time if he needs to. Uh, enhance his own physical capabilities. Uh, you name it, he can theoretically do it. He may just need time to do it. Summon demons from the other planets. Gary, I've got, like, uh, things in my eyes right now. I mean, I've been up for a little while, but I think I still got a little bit of the sleep credit in my eye. Um, so, uh, Doctor Strange is a, a powerful, is one of the most powerful magic users there is. Now, how does a fight break down against them? Well, let's say Goku is transported, because there's it's multiverse. He is transported to the Marvel Universe, uh, theoretically speaking. Uh, and things get misconstrued. Maybe he interrupts a fight, and, and him and Doctor Strange unfortunately come to blows. Now, right off the bat, in a straight physical fight, Doctor Strange loses that fight every time. Doctor Strange is an expert martial artist, but he's still only human and has the physical limitations of a human. Uh, but Goku is a master martial artist and does not have those limitations. So if it just, so if it came down to a straight fist fight, <clears throat> Goku would uh, Goku would annihilate Doctor Strange. There'd be no there'd be no spell on the in the multiverse. I think that could uh, that could save him in a straight a one on one fight with Goku. But Doctor Strange don't play that game. He would be immediately be putting up some spells. Goku would come in. Now Goku is faster than Doctor Strange, even though Doctor Strange can. Tr like, move, tra like, traveling speed, uh, like, maybe as, as fast as Goku, if not maybe faster. He can teleport to some degree. Um, but Goku can do that, too. He's just got to focus. Go Doctor Strange, I think he can do that instantaneously. So he is, does maybe get out of the way, sets up some barrier spells. Goku can't initially get through the barrier spells. So he powers up the Super Saiyan and just plows through them with his key. The low-level spells that Doctor Strange would throw out would not be able to stop Goku. Sh low-level shields, like, just standard level shields... Would not be able to stop Goku once he goes into some transformations. Uh, energy Blast also. Goku could easily just bat him away. N none of his low-tier spells would really be able to take on Goku. And he would he would immediately know this because Doctor Strange is not dumb. Doctor Strange is a genius. Um, so, you know, he'll fire lightning. Then he'll actually... Then Goku will go like the Super Saiyan 2 and come at him. But he'll bring out the bands of Sidorak, which are, you know... Sidorak is the guy... Is the demon, by the a.k.a. if you're not aware... Who gives the Juggernaut his powers... So, Sidorak is not a demon you have with. Um, so, you know, and Goku, Goku is held there. Goku can't move. Uh, it's kind of like with Maji Kaio. There are individuals who can keep Goku in place until Goku, like, really amps up the power scaling a bit. Just, and Goku's just, and then, I uh, know Dr. Strange is now doing another spell. 
basically bringing out a demon to basically just consume, say, all right, this is over, you're a danger, and I cannot have you here, and then in, in, uh, ushers an incantation, maybe bring forth Sidorak himself, just like, oh, n another, <laughs> it's like, this is the payment for allowing, for allowing me to use, it, for allowing you to use my power, a soul to consume, Go comes out Goku, and just grabs Goku, is about to consume, and then all of a sudden, Hurrah! and then powers up to Super Saiyan Blue, boom, just blows out of Sidorak's hand. Now, I'm not saying Goku could beat Sidorak, but I am saying he has enough power to throw Sidorak for a loop, at least. At Super Saiyan Blue, he has enough power to break out of Sidorak's hand and probably cut and blast him straight back into a dimension. Not beat him, but send him back where he came, which... And then he's like, oh, this isn't over, mortal! And then he just blasts back, so now they go back. And Doctor Strange... Being a mystic persuasion, having dealt with deities before, would be able to sense God Key. I, I have no doubt about that. And sensing how much power Goku's putting out, he'd be like, oh, shit. Uh, so now he's got to bring out the real big guns for spells here. So Goku then comes in, does get it, does however move fast enough that, or actually, like, does this. Does this. Does this transmission. Immediately teleports in front of Dr. Strange. And whams him straight in the face. Boom, he just goes dead. Ah! Dr. Strange just... Ah! Then he just does like a multiply... Does like a multiplication. Like he did against Thanos in Infinity War. Multiplies himself. Then skits more bands. Just, just, ah! But now Goku's still struggling. Even though he's... there, there's he's str He'd be able to take on one Dr. Strange with the bands. But multiples like he's... They're still holding him in place. Kaiokens it up just... Yeah! And then, and meanwhile, Doctor Strange is preparing one big spell here, and pretty much warps reality at this point as Goku comes in for the final blow and just kind of boop, sends Goku back where he came from, just boop, or sends Goku into space, which Goku only has so much time in space. Gets comes back at the instant transmission, which allows Doctor Strange at this point to just boom peer into Goku's soul. And basically, uh, finally, calm the fight down, calm it down a bit, explain that we're, I'm not the enemy here, you're not, the, we're not enemies here. Goku then silently calms down, and the fight kind of settles out. Now, that's the realistic version of how I see it ending, with pretty much Doctor Strange winning by sh proving that neither of them are, 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 are uh, enemies. But for those of you who want to see who actually wins in the fight, Doctor Strange instead does, and then... Where he does a spell and just turns Goku into Kid Goku again, just boop, and like a little baby Kid Goku, so boop, just de-aged him down, just, and uh, yeah, so you get a little Super Saiyan Blue baby Goku would be adorable. No, but we're not gonna do that. Um, and then Doctor Strange wins. Now, again, in a straight-on physical confrontation, Goku would beat Doctor Strange every time, every time. But because here's the thing, Goku doesn't fight against magic users very often, if at all. The few times I can remember was like uh, Bosk Rabbit, when that's only if he touched his hand. Um, <clears throat> uh, Fortune Teller Baba's fighters weren't actually magic. They were like, the, they were basically tropes of uh, universal monsters. Um, I'm trying to think, any other magic? Bobbity, he never actually fought against Bobbity, and even then we... Piccolo proved that Bobby's magic was only so powerful. Uh, he never fought against Deboro, who didn't really have much in terms of magic. His spit just turned you to stone. Yeah, Goku never really fought has fought against magic users. And magic users, particularly on the level of Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange could theoretically do anything. He just, you know, he needs a little time to prepare a heavier, uh, a, a more... More heavier, heavy duty spells or more powerful spells. Basic spells are fine, but Goku would probably just power through basic spells. Uh, any of the major spells, though, Goku would pretty much be screwed because while Goku does have a universal level of power, theory, technically speaking, he doesn't have any technique that really emphasizes that power. Like uh, like Beerus, for instance, because he has destroyer energy, can could theoretically destroy the entire universe if he wanted to. But he doesn't, obviously, because that's not his job. He just destroys things that he needs to. He could Hakai the whole thing. Goku doesn't, outside of the manga, Goku doesn't isn't able to use that. So, it, it has to be Doctor Strange in the long haul. Now, like I said, though, in just a straight physical fight, Goku easily beats Doctor Strange. Uh, just easily. There's, there really, uh, either, I don't even think there's a spell that he could really... Um, 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 you do that would bring him to Goku's level of physical power, more or less. 
Uh, so I would say that what's the likelihood of it going just straight to the physical and Goku just blitzing at Doctor Strange? It's not as small as you might think. I'd go 15% of the time, but 85% of the time, Doctor Strange is going to do a final, just big spell that Goku has no defense against and ultimately win. That's that's what's going to happen long term. Um, but let me know what you think. Do you think Doctor Strange will win all the time, or do you think Goku actually wins the majority of the time? Let me know in the comments below. Is it farther or, or closer than I made it? Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything you do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do that at some point. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you a little later for what if.